Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my victim for my Bloody Mary room at Scareview's makeup. So I started off by taking some cotton balls and just unraveling them into strips. And I made sure to put all my hair back so that way I don't get liquid latex in it because that's not fun to get out, trust me. So then I took a little bit of liquid latex and a wedge sponge and uh, you're going to see my face here in a second because yeah, yeah, it smells bad. just applying a little bit of this to the upper half of my forehead and then I'm going to take a teensy bit of the cotton ball that I had spread out and I'm going to be applying that to the liquid latex and tearing away the excess and then I'm going to go back over top of that with some more liquid latex. Then I took some pieces from a plastic container that I had and I had broken it and used that to appear like shards of glass had entered into my skin from when Bloody Mary had came out of the mirror to get me. And I'm also applying a little bit of those cotton balls around the area to keep it in place. I added like two or three to each one, but that's really optional. And then I decided to add another wound on my cheek. I actually got this broken glass idea from another tutorial on YouTube, which I will leave in the description. It's a very cool, inexpensive way to make fake glass for special effects makeup. And then I'm just taking some more of that cotton and making it a little bit smaller and rolling it around. And I'm just going to be putting this around my eyes. Be careful not to get it in your eyes or your eyebrows because that would be bad. And then I am going back over top of it with a liquid latex to make sure that it stays in place. And we're doing this to make it appear as though Bloody Mary has pretty much clawed our eyes out.
I took a black eyeliner and I'm just lining my water lines, my upper and lower water lines with that just to make sure that no skin is showing through because we want it to appear dark and hollow. So then I took the eyeliner again and I'm just going around the edges where the glass is in the wounds to give it a more deeper effect. So then I'm just taking some pink blush and I'm just going to be applying that around my glass wound to kind of give it like an irritated skin effect. Then I took some tweezers and gently tugged at my eye wounds. So then I took that blush again and went around my eye wounds as well. I took a dark brown and a black colored eyeshadow and I went over top of the red that I added just to give it a more dirtier, nastier, gorier effect. So then I took some black paint and being very careful not to get it in my eyes, I am just going around the edges of the wound and all on the inside of the wound with that to give it that hollow effect. I would suggest to let the paint dry each time you add it to an area of your eye just because you don't want it to flake off or not be dried whenever you add your blood because that way it may rub off and we want this to look hollow and almost like you have no eyes. So then I took that blush again and a thinned out paintbrush and I'm just adding this around the eyes to create a scratched effect, like a simple way to create a scratched effect. Then 
of took a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm just going to be filling that in the center of those scratches to make them appear a little bit deeper. So then I took some gel blood and I'm just going to be putting that where I added the black eyeliner to my glass wound and then I also took a little bit of it to the edges of the glass to make it appear gorier. Then I sporadically applied that to the inside of my eye sockets and then to my scratches as well. So then I took some liquid vampire blood and I sporadically put that on the inside of my eye sockets as well and then I also dabbed it around the outside part of my eye sockets and I even put a little bit where the glass shards were embedded into my skin to give it a more gorier effect. And then I even made it appear as though the blood was dripping down my face, which is completely optional. Then because my lips were too plain, I added just a little bit of blood around my mouth area as well. I made sure to dab a little bit of that blood on the glass pieces as well so that it made like a gory effect as it entered my skin. Once you're finished with all that, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.